When a group of teenage girls dressed in shorts and tank tops recently boarded an Israeli bus, the driver forced them to move to the back of the bus and cover up with scarves, reflecting an attitude that some see as a worrying trend. There were ultra-Orthodox men on the bus, and as soon as we got on, they looked away from us. We sat there not knowing what was going to happen. I felt humiliated and helpless. The bus driver was suspended, and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said anyone who discriminates against women on buses will be punished. These kinds of incidents are not new, but they have become increasingly common as the ultra-Orthodox community and political parties gain more power in the current government and propose new laws that include gender separation at beaches, national parks, concerts, and even at universities. The government has already disbanded the authority to advance the status of women. It's looking to remove women from the public sp space in ways that will not be considered a crime. That's in the coalition agreement. Also, gender segregation will be extended into the academy, which will deprive women academics of job opportunities. The increased challenges to women's rights by ultra-Orthodox politicians and their supporters led thousands of women to protest recently on the streets of Israel's mostly ultra-Orthodox city of B'nai Brak. Many held signs proclaiming gender equality, and some women engaged in arguments with ultra-Orthodox men. The women say they object to attempts by the conservative ultra-Orthodox to impose more restrictions on liberal, secular Israeli society. The ultra-Orthodox religious establishment already controls many civil issues like marriage and divorce, and ultra-Orthodox parties in the government now are proposing to expand their influence even more, with bills that would allow religious courts to control custody and child support. I hope that religion and state will be separated, and everyone will be able to live his life the way he wants to live without using the power of religious. Women's rights activists have been prominent during the eight months of protests against the current Israeli government, which opponents see as far right and influenced by religious conservatives. Women dressed in the red robes of the dystopian novel and TV series The Handmaid's Tale have been marching in many of the demonstrations, expressing fears about the government's intentions to limit religious freedoms. The government says it will maintain equality for women. The ultra-Orthodox, who control 18 seats in the 120-seat parliament, say that they respect women and that separating men and women in public areas is good for the family and for society. Until now, women's rights activists could count on the Supreme Court to fight against gender discrimination. But they worry that the current government's plan for judicial overhaul that is aimed at weakening the Supreme Court will now make that harder. Linda Gradstein, VOA News, Jerusalem.